Cucina primitiva. <laughs> Cucina secuereva. That will make an awesome bar. Today, my Spanish friend Eduardo invites me to his piece of paradise. I find a capihan with no coffee that turns out to be a Bayani Han community, and we wear funny hats and cook by Elia. Okay, and you're listening to 105.5 ALT FM, Anglahad. Itoto o. Ah, okay. How many? How many? How many uh, times have I done this? Okay. I'm back again at this small pier where lanchas lead to Socorro and Shargao. Behind me, that's the boat I rode about a year and a half ago, going over to Socorro. So I'm going to take it again. This time, I'm going to take the motorbike on it because I found out you can. So let's explore it a bit more this time. Not just half a day. I haven't done this for a little while. Please like and subscribe na lang sa ano ah, please follow na lang kay Commander Dao. Uh, Rapidulpo. Uh, Rapidulpo. <laughs> These guys know what they're doing. Anna. Ah, Mga guapo. Yes, sharap Esther dep sa gila ko kain pudding ako sa inong pagkaligo ang tiglugod ako mamao ko sa dobo man dito bisado sa kape hilaw hilaw na suriko. From Hyangabon, it's only one hour crossing to Socorro Town. <laughs> I was looking for you, that's legendary. <laughs> Welcome. This is uh, Generalin. how are you? And let's not leave this behind. Okay, da. Okay, da. Na siya sa YouTube din nasa daga. Okay, na. Okay, okay, okay. Hey. Kita po nung. Hey, it's long. It's long, mani. It's long, mani. But for now, we're leaving the town behind and heading to Barangay San Roque and down a very interesting road. Motorbike on the bridge. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> Just gets better and better. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> Oh, the concrete starts there. Yeah, we've got a little bit of that. Yeah. Where can I park? Just here. Oh, I can, I can. <laughs> they can't get the tuk tuk down here. That's hilarious. And at the end of the road is a small dock in the mangroves. You should hail him down like a taxi. <laughs> You're only going to do it. <laughs> We come somewhere in the mangroves via the hilarious Tuk Tuk Road, as I'm calling it now. I decided last time I've seen Sohotan Cove. I've seen the beauty of it, and it is beautiful, but I wanted to explore it more. And Eduardo Genelin invited me to come along here to see to see the other side. This is the chilled side. Believe it or not. Okay, right. Oh, he's eating that side. These giant mangroves form part of this majestic river system, and we can see the forests of the Socorro protected area. A choice of two beaches and a mountain fringed lake. Let's take a wander. This is a beautiful, beautiful place. Like a private island, you know? But we're going to the opposite side, and it's cave. Ay! Cucina primitiva! Cucina sacuereva! That will make an awesome bar. This is, this is fantastic, isn't it? It's like a bar stool, yeah! That's awesome! Let's, let's uh, pull up a rock. <laughs> These rocks here are beautiful too. I'm just going over to the kitchen sink. 
Ako lang gitimplahan. Timplahan, oh, timpla, oh. Para mawala ang baho niya. Butangan siya glime. First of all, we're frying some fish. But the next dish is a bit more special. Not, not oh, it's not some bad. garlic. Mm-hmm. Oh. You won't burn them. Oops, oh. oops. Now, here we go. Onions, bell peppers, and tomatoes are next to give this a really good vegetable base. You love that stuff. Um, it's the it's the healthiest stuff you can you can have in life. This stuff. <laughs> this is paprika. How do we open it? <laughs> oh, uh, you can tell I'm working out. Oh, that smells good. Right here in uh, the place we call Toro, about three nautical miles sort of that way. There's a, there's a place called Club Tara, so we thought we'd be Toro. Club Toro. <laughs> We're going to put some eggs in here now. And this is, oh, we, we need the sausage. Where's the sausage? We're adding longanisa because we left the Spanish chorizo that we brought, that I brought from Spain, left it, we forgot it in the bar. So, sadly, this is what we've got to work with. I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know what we're making. You, but, need, uh, you need to crack it and put just fried eggs. Oh, fried eggs. Okay, you fried eggs. Them fried eggs. Yeah, okay, I'm not scrambling them. No, okay. no, please. <laughs> okay, that'll offend the whole nation of Spain if I do that. Oh, please, they'll storm Gibraltar. They will. <laughs> oh, I'm well, not an expert though, like you. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to say I didn't do it very well. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say you're the expert though, I'm not the expert though. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought you were the chef. What's happening? I'm you don't have any um, I'm the apprentice. The apprentice. You don't have any uh what's the what's the word in Spanish? I don't even know what it well, is in English. You, you gotta, I don't you think gotta, of it. You, you gotta forgive me because I'm from Barcelona. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's compare the eggs. Two eyes. And a smile. <laughs> and a tomato for a nose. This is called Huevos Flamenca, sort of. You know, it's cooked in a absolutely gorgeous place, as you can see. Done like a dog's dinner, they say in Australia. <laughs> Your Australian accent is brilliant. Oh, yeah. It'll, it'll pass with a push. <laughs> get that into you. Ah, get it in ya. Oh, now, just pull up a rock uh, and tell me. Uh, oh, yep, yeah. okay. Let's, uh... Uh, you know, this is this is kind of this is pretty cool. Natural table. Oh, I'm gonna sit here and eat with the wak wak. <laughs> From a legitimate Spanish chef and the help of the help of the Gibraltans, <laughs> the Gibraltar army. I'm glad we can joke about Gibraltar. Huevos flamenca. Awesome. Natural. Oh, I love the olive oil. Yes. I have my nice little table. I found a table in the back of the cave. This is awesome. <laughs> but more than anything, this is a place to disconnect and relax. I know these ones are good. They have airflow. These are fantastic. I'm going to, yeah. I'll get the lights turned off for you. <laughs> After all, your commandante at Daot. Commandante. The sharp rocks. Be careful, be careful with the sharp rocks. Oops. And there I stayed until the boat came to pick us up again. You're very quick to ride up to get on the boat. Yeah, I'm going to be the last thing we must the sinking ship. Because of the weather, we're not going to stay here all night, unfortunately. <laughs> From the difficult roads to the centre of town, I really found my stay on this island so relaxing. Today I'm late. Okay. And here I am. That's me. Oh, there's a little kitchen area there. Let's close that and... Ah, hello again. Serenity Guest House by the ocean. It's really nice. Nice and homely. It really is. I've never seen so many satellite dishes in my life. Not all together, that's very random. 
and then yeah, look at the mountains there and the oceans in front of us. I like this town, it's like a quaint little town. It's very old school and I really like that. I appreciate this place a lot in between the mountains and the ocean. It's very, it's cool. I like this place. Oh. What do you call it? Blanc Caballo. It's got a kick like a, an English thoroughbred. The first time he ever called this Poulan Caballo to me, I didn't stop laughing for five minutes. So, I can't have too much of this, it'll hurt. Fuerza en el canut, they say in Spain. Ah, that tastes like it usually does. Day two was a different approach. I like this municipal hall, a nice vibe. The old buildings are really the best. We're gonna explore the island today. Actually, Eduardo and Jenlin have gone over, back over where we were yesterday to reflect, but I'll see them later. But let's, yeah, let's see what else this island has to offer. Back on a kite and Anina, go on, up a scene. Nah, but it's going to sell. Sell up and deliver. Sell up. What do you see? Namely, sir. Ah. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Oh, that's what. Oh, this one. 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 So I took his advice and battled Socorro's craziest traffic jam to head into the hills nearby. Hey, I'm going to go to the Capihan. I'm going to go to the Ubos, the Limestone. Ah, it's Tom Oi. I'm going to go to the Kapihan, asal mungkin kapihan. Luna di kami, gotu aradi aradi ni. Ah, segi segi, selamat dah. Okay, I'm going the right way. I'm looking for Kapihan. That's where they told me to come up to, and they told me yes, the area burnt yesterday, which you can really see here. But I just saw on this side such a good view from this little—I don't know—just trespassing in someone's house. Sorry. Down there, the town, and we've got Sahotan behind here. And you can actually see all the way over to Clave, the Suga del Norte coast. So onwards and upwards, I continued. Wow, it's beautiful. These are the other Bucas Grande Islands. I forget what they're called, but and Chargao's behind. This is incredible, but I'm not going down here. There's no way I'm going down there. I think it might be. There's a turning up here, going that way. I'm not taking any more risks on these roads. I've done enough of that. I've used up eight of my nine lives already. Hey, hey. yeah. <laughs> uh. Once I go on there, we. I'm going to see the Ubers. I'm going to see the Guan. I took us a Capihan. Kapihan ni. Go on, waku kebalo, waku kebalo on saya nak ada. On saya kawan, on saya nak ada ni, nak ai. Ah, segi segi. So I was allowed in. But I really wasn't sure what on earth was going on here. Then so many houses came into view, hidden away in a valley overlooking the ocean. Actually, this is our second settlement. Uh, because after all that, we transferred here. Because we found out this place more safer than the other areas before. So you're, you're really just a community of yes. of actors and dancers and something like that. Oh. Oh, okay. And 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 short sure, this. Yes, Chinga yeah. our. Hi. Hello, ma'am. Yeah, our director here. Hi, ma'am. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Ah, 
They surprised us. <laughs> yeah, well, me too. They surprised me. I thought, they told me Cafe Han. I thought, oh, maybe it's a coffee shop. But, uh, <laughs> but no, no, it's, it's this. No, it's Coffee Han. Yeah, yeah Meet the Saloneras, the champions of the street dancing competition in Sinulog in 2023, and a community based on Bayani Han or Dinabangai where everybody volunteers their labour without payment. A true commune. And the performing arts are at the centre of this community. This area is very busy because this is the meeting place of dancers, singers and... Yeah! The local talent. Hi everyone! Oh, okay. Hi. Hello! <laughs> Hello! 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 Oh, I'm UK, but I live in, I live in Davao. Yeah, Yeah, yeah. Ah, there we Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. So this is Fergie, our musical director. He is just 18 years old, but wow. he can do magic. <laughs> yeah. Oh. When it comes to recording, so you know our president is a composer, Senor Aguila. Would you like to try recording? I oh my singing so bad. <laughs> but it's okay. You wanna try? But you can make magic. Oh okay okay. Let's what, let's try what this. What song do you want to um, sing? If I sing video, okay, I'll normally I'll sing Tom Jones because oh, no. Tom Jones is from my place. Yeah. Ah, yeah, this one. <laughs> It's not unusual to feel loved by anyone. It's not unusual to go about with anyone. <laughs> I've forgotten all the words again because. <laughs> okay, that's great. That was cool. That was fun. Okay, how's the experience? That was that was cool. That was cool. <laughs> if I knew the words, it would be even better. But uh, okay. that was fun. That, that was, was very very fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm excited for the recording. Yeah. Hello. Okay. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> this is awesome. This is I I never expected this here. So uh, ah, okay. I'm really That's pleasantly good that surprised. You decided to come over. Yeah. You mean you? I just recorded something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it'll be a hit. Good morning. We have a visitor. Hello. Hello good morning. morning. This is David Vance. He has a program at 11 o'clock, and this is our speaker Kyle and our graphic artist. And that's how I ended up as a guest on a radio show and also making a jingle. It's going to be hi. This, this is Commander That Art, and you're listening to 105.5 ALT FM from UK. From UK. Okay. okay. Hi. This is Commander That Art from the UK. UK. And the, you are. And you are listening to 105.5 ALT FM. Let's see if I can do that in one take or not. <laughs> Probably not. Ang lahat ay totoo. Ang lahat. Ang lahat. Ang lahat ay totoo. Ay totoo. Ay I toto. Yeah. I toto. Oh. Toto. Oh. Ah, it's true. It's true. Okay. Hi, I'm Commander Datot from the UK, and you're listening to 105.5 ALT FM, Anglahad. I toto. Ah. Okay. How many? How many? How many uh, times will I have to? Okay. Oh. Don't make it too fast. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Hinayan lang. <laughs> Hi, this is Commander Dart from the UK. Ah, and you're here listening to 105.5 Smooth ALTFM. I like that. Okay. So, again. Ang lahat ay toto. Okay, okay, Kayo. Okay, Kayo. When I first came in with all the manicured gardens, I wasn't sure what was happening here. But this has turned out to be really, really cool. Wow, this is awesome. Then I was taken to see the upper part of Capihan. Yes, sir. Two points. Festival last last year. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Twenty third last January. Okay, you have your voice as well. <laughs> Okay, so we see. Hi, sir. Hi, sir. Here we can see their gongs and, of course, the eagle that's so central to their performances. It's, it's 
guns. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. yeah uh, okay, the, the head, the head somewhere else. <laughs> That's cool, huh? You call this upstairs? Yes. Okay, wow. I like that. Upstairs. We're going upstairs and downstairs. Incredible up here. Recording studio. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the, all this produce is part of your bayani hand, right? Yep, yep. Not what I expected to hear at all. But this is this is cool. And then oh these are mango trees or yes, mango. Okay, mango, bananas. Cassavas. <laughs> But this part of upstairs is one of the few that remains as before. The current settlement was just one of the six Puvox before Odette, and was previously much smaller. On top of the mountain hosted most of the homes, as we can see on the satellite. Today, very little remains. This settlement was built up in just two months and the spirit of Bayanihan, or Tinabangai, remains. <laughs> 16 horsepower? 16 or? Nine. Nine. A 9 horsepower. Um. So the carpenters have gone home, but all this work is done by what we'd call Bayanihan. So it's, it's kind of shared living, communal living here. It's a very interesting way, and it's been going for four years. So this is something different, and not what I expected when I first came down this road. I, I wasn't really sure what on earth I was getting myself into, but it's a good outcome. So, what money man mechanic go? Yes. Without the water, without the water, bangan. I could put that output go. Preserve free without the man. Hey. Video man, okay. eh? Oh, oh, video, video. 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 Uh -huh. eh? I could see who the man is. Hey, man, the man is. Man, I am man, the man is. Appeal go on top. Appeal ka. Preserve we bayan. Tabang ra. I really felt the essence of community in this place. Though my visit was short, and I had to escape the coming rain, I could feel the contentment of the people living there. Back in Socorro town, there was another guy who also loves this island. You've been reflecting today, right? Reflecting? Well, uh, what's not to reflect? Look at this place. You've got to give thanks, because the, the place is... It's just magic, you know. For me, uh, you know, it's a long trajectory. I, I, I lived in many countries around the world and worked in many countries. And uh, always in the back of my mind, I wanted to own, to have my own little piece of what every white person that I know thinks of as paradise. You know, after 40 odd years, you know, I found it. The, the planets aligned here in, in the Philippines, I found uh, this little piece of land, the, the paperwork was right. I always thought that uh, my son, whom sadly I'm strange to, would come in and help me and, and be the front man and, and run the, the hotel uh, that is built to the building because you know, it really requires uh, hands on. But COVID came and uh, two years and a bit went past and things, the river of life just, just uh, he, he took another direction and uh, here I am, beautiful piece of land, I have full permits, the hard work's been done, it's all ready and I can't do it. I associate, I kind of get what you're saying, it was, it was like that with me with the fish pond was I just couldn't commit, I couldn't commit and, it, and that's 24-7 kind of stuff, I haven't let it go yet but... I get those thoughts sometimes and I'm, you know, to just let go of something is kind of, it's difficult. Sometimes you've got to and I, and I get it because sometimes you see something's a dream. You have the dream location. It's beautiful. It's amazing. The potential is so great. And then the reality of life isn't all like that, unfortunately. So, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. But for someone else, it could be, it could be the dream. I, I'm not crazy to get rid of it. I don't want to do that. And I'm also, I'm going to put it on the market at a very realistic price. The price yeah. <coughs> yeah, look at this assistant. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> With a meat cleaver. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> the best stuff of all. Eduardo brought these ingredients from Spain Spanish. to make paella. Yeah. SOS. Most the brand. <laughs> yeah, we just want to be a, a present. You know, we want to present. We've got, to, pro we've got to be professional. Look yeah. at this. It's got pockets as well. Oh, really? I can, I can steal yeah, that, food that, and hide it. That was within the budget. Yeah. Uh, the Spanish flag wasn't within the budget. No, no. That's unfortunate. It's too, too, too expensive. Okay, and the best part. Okay. Look at this. I we have are... a chef's hat now. I, I'm going to use this many, many times in the future. Oh, we can read that? <laughs> yes. yes, yes, we can. It's. Eduardo and Anselmo, and together we are Amigos Cucineros, coming to you live from Filipinas. Who's the head chef and who's the line cook and who's he, the look, chef de bar? He's taller, you know, he's oh, much oh, yeah. taller than I am, so he's, he's, he's the head, you know, he's the, he's the boss. Oh, the head honcho, okay. He, he owns the camera. I'm the guy. <laughs> I'm the guy who tells you what to do because I don't have, I have no idea. Well, I, I need some and, professional guidance here. And I'll drink wine and supervise. We're attempting to cook a paella style rice. You, you can't call it paella unless it's, it's rice cooked with rabbit and chicken. We're going to use some fish. After frying the vegetables in olive oil, we'll add paprika, squeeze some lime. Now we're going to add a few tomatoes, canned tomatoes. Ooh. I don't see any, I should be doing something. I'm yeah, not mixing yeah. this in, I just got a spray of tomato in my eye. This is the Datok cooking show. We'll add the rice and let it, let it um, take some of the flavor, actually roast a little bit onto, onto on the pan. Fried tomato, this is fried in olive oil. It's this fantastic. This is the stuff. best stuff ever. We're going to add the fish stock now. Uh, you, you can add it. I'm going to add the fish stock, yeah. all of it. Well, well, we'll see how we go. No. Oh, that's an interesting colour. I have no idea about this. And you have? I have about half the, half an idea. I've never but, cooked paella before. Paella takes about 40 minutes yeah. to cook. Yeah. Good yeah. food does. And how about the saffron? The saffron goes in now. It's good, good 199, <laughs> good 199. You see, that's why uh, I'm the head chef. You just leave it. And once the rice is cooked, these oven-baked skinless bell peppers are added to the paella. And these are amazing. Well, remember, it's not paella, it's a paella-style rice. It's ready to taste. Look at you and your pool and caballo. Well, it's got a kick like an Irish, no, like an Irish mare. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to serve the, and see how the, the uh, rice is actually Burnt on the not burnt but stuck onto onto the bottom. That that's that's really yeah. Burnt. That's burnt. That's burnt. <laughs> that, no, but that's really tasty. The rice looks done pretty well. I'm actually I'm very very excited for this. I use my bamboo bamboo. Fork. I'm, I'm I'm gonna be metal metallic Metallica. Oh, I'm getting the light of you. All okay. right, try oh, and give okay. me your your most honest opinion. Hmm. Hmm. That's pretty good. It's good? That's pretty good going, eh? That's really, that's, that's pretty good going. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Mm. Did you, did you tape that? Gee whiz. Where's the... What, did something, it? did something what, happen? What scissors? What scissors? Did something happen? No, nothing happened. Good thing. Good thing, good thing, good thing, good thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I yummy delicious. I can say what I want now, can't I? Mm. So yummy. tender. So, so, so tender. Thank Salute. you. Oh, can I buy a pulang gabayo? Let's buy yes, a case. Yes, please, we'll buy a case. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So it's salut. Yes, salut.